Ladies and gentlemen, what I have in front of me is a video that I have reserved, will use as an ultimate evidence about what went on all along. Uh, and it immensely, it, it, it truly in, intensified uh, to the degree I would stay indoors, I would not even go out, I would do my stuff rather preferably inside, even including the exercise. Um, it's like this when they anticipate that you will appear at the police station. It's like this that it was all along. It was listed on my website a good number of incidents, of which some included uh, either attempted physical confrontations or even physical confrontations. Some very, very serious stuff. And so in this video, uh, which, in which I will concentrate on my first visit to the police station, which took place on April the 25th. Uh, I will concentrate on what exactly happened the day earlier, before I arrived to the police station, which they know, because they monitor everything, even inside. They know exactly where am I going to, what am I going to, uh, the stuff I do, what am I preparing myself. Um including my talking to myself, too. I don't actually have anybody to talk to. So they, uh, I don't mind this stuff because it's stuff that I actually need. Because what I need to do is I need to prove that I'm being video and audio surveillance inside of the house. And that's a possible thing to do thanks to the, thanks to the feedback police uh, continues to give. They continue to engage in whatever I do on a computer or personally wherever I do. They continue to give feedback on it. I get to hear sirens, uh, all kinds of stuff that goes on. You know, whatever I do inside of the house, that's basically indoors. Now let me demonstrate to you what exactly happened the day earlier before I got to the Novel Master Police on April the 25th. On April the 25th, once I got to the police station, you're going to see how the police follow up with crime against me, in a way even retaliated, um, how they intensified the crime. Uh, and yeah, what happened actually then on the 26th, this is also the video where I <laughs> explain why I no longer visit the father. Beginning the 26th, April the 26th, I did not go visit my father. And that for me is like a record long. It might not even be long for my father, but for me it's a record long. And because, yeah, the next time that I'm going to appear at the father, it's going to be with the police, just as I have stated already earlier. Let's go and let me demonstrate to you um, what that looks like uh, in, in a fast way. This here is. My walking on April the 24th, 2024, eventually I did go out to do exercise uh, and to be nothing other than intercepted with the police cars again. A little bit difficult to record with this stuff here, but a DOP, DOP is a prison facility. A prison facility is a DOP. Um, the location I'm going to demonstrate to you, it's not the first time uh, that police went on to greet me. They uh, do that kind of stuff. They did that stuff before already. I also video recorded it. I noted. it. Uh, I didn't put that stuff online. Uh, and But they always greeted me at this location whenever there was something serious about to happen. They already have prevented me before from going to the police station. The same thing, identical to this one, took place. Um, it's not about just as if they knew that the next day I will appear at the Novo Mesto Police Station. 
They actually know that I will appear at the Novo Mesto police station. And now let me demonstrate you. This here is the city of the Novo Mesto. This here is my home. And so I had it. For exercise, yeah, I go. If I go out, I I do my best to uh, get some fresh air and so on. I think it's very very important to uh, to note this stuff because it's it's. Um, you know, they, they're turning, they, they basically what they do is they imprison. They create like a prison-like environment, and so it's not good. So at this location here, I assume, in a little bit I'm going to see, anyways, because it's much better. Um, this is along the Kurka River, and so I use this road here that you see, this one here that you see is, now, this, if you click on it, is going to throw you on, on this road that is right next door here. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to go here and I will do it. This was a frequent location that was, that was used to intim intimidate with uh, a prison. This is the prison where I was delivered since my childhood. It's called Dob Prison. Uh, and, yeah, you know, this is just... Uh, the way they do it here in Slovenia, uh, this is the way they did this in Slovenia. Uh, and this is believed they're going to do this in Slovenia. They did it for a very long time. They did it. I'm now 52. And this video is a testimony to demonstrate to you what exactly they are using today. When I'm 52, and this shit started when I was one year old, to keep me away as far as possible from visiting a police, let me state in 2012, they have used a psychiatric hospital, Ljubljana Polje, based on which torture in real time, they began to build case against me during MK Ultra through the torture. So they intensify, they use, and they turn after 40 years of MK Ultra torture, they brought up psychiatric case against me. And through the psychiatric pills that were causing unbearable damage, I did explain to you that I could not walk even, that I had difficulty walking. This is how they paralyzed my body. I barely would move jaw. Uh, you know, it has saliva running without any control uh, out of the mouth uh, with pain that was causing to my body. It's impossible to even explain. Maybe the best was that I experienced in respect to the pain was the oil drops, literally. Uh, I was told it's an oil if it's dripping from your scalp. Uh, it's, they told me it's not possible that you would have water dripping out. So whatever that be, whatever it was, it was oily. But from the pain, from the intensity of the pain, it was running from my scalp, the pain, literally the, the drops from the pain. That's how bad it was. And they were using these issues, the psychiatric hospitalization and harm they were doing, literally to intimidate during MK Ultra. Yeah. At the same time as I was inside of the psychiatric hospital, they were using psychiatric hospital to keep me inside. And parallel to it, MK Ultra, during which they intimidated further into stuff. Um, create all kinds of incidents on which they follow up, just like they follow up on everything else. So this here is what is known as, uh, it goes to Dobova. It's called Dobova. Dobova is a village. Let me see this here. Uh, no, no, no. This here would do it. Šmarieška tu plice, Kronovo.
it's a intersection, and this intersection is uh, it indicates. Yeah, wow, I don't know how I got here. I didn't know I possibly could ever get here. I never was as lucky. Uh, anyways, I am I am not I am not okay with this stuff here. Double because I don't have a time to play with this. If I will continue to do this, the computer they have sold me is so bad I'm not gonna be capable to finish the video even. This is how shitty they did this stuff, yeah? And I don't have anything better to put this stuff together. Uh, so, Dobovo is this here, Dobovo, you see, and you're going to see this is going to be a sign here, it's going to say Dobovo, it was identical stuff the other time when I was going to go also to the police station, the same shit, and they were actually using a police light to, you know, indicate me the direction, to remind me that during the MKL travel stalled, it's going to be into the prison. So this is the stuff you're going to hear. Uh, prison, however, is not located in Dobova. But this is how they have interpreted the stuff to me. Yeah. And that's this here. So this will be like the nearest prison that would apply to me. And yeah, in a way, you could it, it is in direction of the prison. Except that this is these are two different things. Obviously, this is a prison. They don't have any pretty pictures, no? Okay. Uh, and this is what you know I I am going to include this links here below. Um, you're going to see, I'm going to include the links about, I did break down and on police director, on the prison, on what they were still doing, the stuff and so on. Um, they were promising me this kind of stuff. So this is, this is about intimidations. Uh, making sure that I would not even come close to the police foremost. So from the city of the Novel Mesto, if you would take directions, uh, the prison is located. I'm just making sure that you understand that I'm not under impression that this is the location where I'm demonstrating you or something like that. So it's very important for me to clarify that the location where I found myself on this first incident This is located here in this place. That's nowhere in the area. Now it fucking threw me to the uh, another road and so on. Hey, I, I don't have a time for this because it's important, more important stuff I gotta do. First incident is gonna be about this one here. The second incident is gonna be about. Can you actually, let me see if I can demonstrate you. Uh, ah, this is like, yeah, the second incident plays just a little further down. As I continue this path here, I'm going to close this stuff by bye bye, bye bye like this. And as I had it further, um, right here, it's, is known as uh, see just further down where where it says Druzhinskavas this year, before the Druzhinskavas, you know something like that, in this area here, just about like I probably am on the spot right now. At this location here, therefore, exactly the location that I, more or less, that I indicated to you. 
Uh, there was another incident that also involved uh, an individual connected to the police that I also explained about that issue. Um, all this stuff in the area of the police director from what I recall uh, from MK Ultra. Um, this novel master, this new police director, based on what I recall from MK Ultra, this individual here that you see on the His name is Igor Jurčić. You see it on the right side. Uh, he's got one sister, from what I recall, and that sister is um, that sister. I was nothing crazy about. Yeah, uh, I was nothing crazy about, from what I recall. Uh, if this is what it is, yes. If this is what it is, from what I recall about this guy, is that. I I already described him really well. There is there is um, there is little to fix when it comes to this individual. This individual should actually be even from a torches, something like this area. Is it maybe? This is what orchards, and then you have, um, let me see this here, Lutersko Selo, which is quite, quite, quite very much, you know, in the area here. This is very, very, very much in the area of what I demonstrated you earlier. This is actually like the area, you know? Uh, Lutersko Selo, to me, it seemed like, To me, it seems like a house here. Uh, what you see on the right side, now on the left side, that was the house that belonged to him. But then again, they had also other locations they tried to confuse with. So, number one, very difficult to, to point which house. It could be this one here. And... One sister, as I stated, this is a sister that was like brown eyes, just like he was. And I wasn't crazy about it. Uh, they had really beautiful girls inside in that village. And I didn't go for it because they had really, really beautiful girls in this village. Um, there was other girls that you could choose from. And so I decided that... Uh, I myself am going to pass on that one, especially because he acknowledged me as mentally retarded and have pledged to a novel master, police director, Janus Ogulin, how he will destroy me, just like I already, you know, if you're going to go over these links here, I'm going to pose them, that's okay, but I'm not going to go and uh, get into this issue one more time. Who also found him a wife? Oh, this is man who pledged also that he will destroy me. Um, he got into the crucial moment in the game in 2000 and I don't even know. I think 2009, and this is where it was, or 2013, 2009, whatever. This is the guy who was all along since. I'm not going to say I was a child, but he was causing me problems since I was a teenager already. Um, yeah, I, he stated, um, from what I recall, he, he finished a two, year, two years, something like this here in the city of the Novo Mesto. He did first here in the Novo Mesto, and then he did also in Ljubljana. It was like this with him, you know? Uh, just everything at once, it didn't happen for him. But... Once he started to write through this case, the doors are really open, talking about education-wise. So, university, if you like, higher education. Um, he was the one who found for this individual here also a wife, not only a job. He found the right individual who's going to do me. This is the guy who committed himself, claimed me that he will get me destroyed in 1990. 
Um, so his sister and everything did not. He didn't. It, it was. It just didn't. It didn't feel right. Uh, I passed on that one. And I think got him a wife. So to say, yeah, I didn't pay enough attention to that stuff. But she's also from the area. Um, what area would that be? I, I don't know. I really do not know. Um, I would not know. I don't know what exactly the area would be. Um, it would be somewhere in this direction, something like this. I have no idea. Maybe even Dobovo, something like that. Um, this area here, whatever the hell this is, Circus Svetika Stefana, something like that. This kind of area, this area here. A girl with a lot of land, uh, and it was likewise with a, uh, she also had sister and stuff like that. Um, so I'm just giving you a little bit of background about what exactly we are dealing with here. This is the individual whom I also described uh, directly became a Chetnik who engaged begun to engage engaged in a physical torture against me in Belgrade, in the Serbian capital of Belgrade. I, he became increasingly stimulated in a physical torture, and eventually, after 2011, I have taken over. Uh, a big part of the physical torture started to directly engage in a physical torture, but was pulled out from the physical torture after the incident with me in Belgrade City in 2015 or 2016. When I confronted one in Belgrade because of so much torture that he got involved in, physical torture, it was, again, the director who got him everywhere that told him, well, if you're going to bring this case to an end, if you're going to finish this case, you cannot be no, any more involved directly in a physical torture. So he did again in 2016 physical torture in the city of the Novo Mesto, but then the physical torture ended for him. He continued to engage in a torture which pertained to the prison dob. Just as I explained, he would take me to the prison and even suggest me that found the best room for me, etc., etc., at the prison in front of the mother and stuff like this. So they do the stuff like this to encourage, uh, I'm not going to say motivate, but like provide like absolute authority in front of other people that were involved in it. So they would comply with whatever, uh, you know, with this type of intimidation, gaslighting crime, police crime. This is not a police. This is not a police. Obviously, I was the one who also pursued police career in the United States. Uh, this is not a police, this individual like this, this is not what, they, what these people do, or this is not a police, this is not what a police does. This is actually what the police does. And it's not about good and bad cops, it's about police not taking any stand for the sake of their duties, official duties, as appointed for, for government, paid in for by taxpayers. They violate law and all other issues I'm not going to get into, obviously. So that's why this uh, issue is so important to me that I started to video record this stuff, especially because the next day I was about to go to, and I did, to the police station. Well, uh, the thing is that I did identify even this individual whom I described with white Toyota Corolla that would go and would turn around and rush the opposite way. Um, I give a good description based on based on the brainwash from MKUltra. 
Yeah, and they were trying to set me up with some kind of also schizophrenic. Um, how can I say? Um, with the issues that if I would not be sound in my head and knew exactly, recall events from MK Ultra, uh, lies is what I'm trying to say. It would create confusion. It would make me look. You know, it could easily be proved. I could easily be proven wrong, uh, just as they attempted to do. Uh, and something I'm going to skip for now. I will not talk about what happened on a 26, but uh, they were really desperate to get some kind of proof, something against me that something is wrong with me. Um. Before I had it to the police, and I had it to the police, unfortunately, way too late uh, for the day. But I did have it to the police because all I wanted to do is I wanted to set the appointment with someone who would be authorized to investigate, to assist me, since I am without a public, um, I'm without badge, I am without authorization to investigate police so i do need someone with authorization that would together with me enforce this investigation of the novel mesto police station so this is the police station that it's all along about on my website the local police station also administration for the novel mesto region um, another incident where also scenario from MK Ultra repeated where I was suggested that uh, practically I don't exist by using the doors at the local shopping mall uh, where the doors would not open for me no matter what I would do stand in front of them move my hands whatever because they remotely appears have disconnected them. So this is crazy, insane, bizarre stuff. Uh, but it will be used as evidence so that you see what kind of shit this is. I did left me with a lot of psychological scars as well as uh, physical problems, issues health wise. Because I should go out and exercise and so on. But when you go out and you encounter nothing other than attacks and all kinds of incidents that are used to intimidate, harass. Um, this is probably not exactly um, what you want to do. You know what I mean? Here uh, you see a gym. Not a gym, but... Uh, prerequisites that are used to stretch the spine. Uh, something also I was instructed to do during MK Ultra. Uh, whenever I'm going to go and visit father, and even demonstrated uh, by my mother, reminded of how uh, that's what am I is what is expected of me, and so on, or it's going to break the spine. Uh, after vis my visit to the police station, which is <laughs> also here briefly just recorded, I did hand it to the father. And once I hand it to the father, I'm actually thinking if this is even worth it for me to do because this computer is so fucked up. The computer that I'm using is so fucked up that... Uh, I don't know if it's going to leave me with, if I'm going to be able to burn this movie, if it's going to make me any sense to do this. This is how fucked up it is. They destroyed me computer I brought from Poland. They destroyed me four other computers. Steal me tablet things. And simply what they do is the stuff like this. So you're not watching my website, still so don't understand what the fuck goes on. This is what the fuck goes on all the time. Is it dangerous? Is it bad? Yeah, if you gain, I don't know, 10, 15 kilos is not good for you if you stay locked inside of the doors all the time rather than do your stuff. Uh, if they 
stack you with so much crime that all you can do is write about in your computer. It's definitely not good. You have people eventually coming at your home, uh, like was the case with the husband of my niece, to who exercised attempted physical assault on me here through the theft of the battery, which was involved in MKUltra, is probably not a good stuff. That you have people coming inside already when you don't go out to bully, to harass based on MKUltra issues and expend, uh, do best to their abilities to create a physical confrontation. Probably that this is not good. Probably that this is not good because you don't have to go out actually for have people uh, to have issues. So probably that this is not a good situation. Especially if you have issues like I have health issues I described here. So this is this is probably not a good stuff, right? If you are all the time in this kind of situation, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do this because it's those other links that I have to do. If you have all the time somebody going after you like this, it's probably not a good stuff. Do you know how much it takes to stay inside, locked inside, deal with the psychological issues and do the shit? It's a great psychological harm. You do a lot of psychological harm and you do a lot of physical harm to the, to the person like this. You actually get to kill the person. What this is, this is a kill procedure. So I was looking forward to this video. This is why this video. This is an attempted murder, by the way, doing this stuff like this. And who is doing it? Novo Mesto Police is doing it. They were doing it all along and they continue to do. This is not about the violence. This is about some other issues here involved. So, it's kind of crazy, man, to, to, um, to be like this. You just can't be fucking sitting and doing the stuff, stuff that police should do, that you never on the first place should even do any of it. It's called the marathon of extermination procedure. This is what this shit is, yeah. And regretfully, I have to say that this stuff is connected to the British royals. Paid in for, financed, enforced by the police. Same shit as it was in Poland, same shit as it was in the Czech Republic, same shit as it was in Slovakia, same shit as it was in Hungary, same shit as everywhere else. Probably this is not a good stuff. This is definitely not a healthy lifestyle, is it? Did you have a criminal surrounding after you? Causing you more harm, more and more and more and more harm, and all you have left is basically document more and more and more harm? They're in no hurry anymore. They're, they, they're not choosy anymore. They're now coming from each direction, wherever, wherever it gets, to stop this. They became frantic and desperate to stop this. Not a good stuff, no. I actually hard to believe it's just uh, seven days since I do an attack here in front of the house. Once I visited police station, I headed to the father. I went to visit the father. I wanted to go so badly to visit father. And I did. I only posted one video. And today I'm going to post other videos. Went to the father. He looked like he was in good spirits when I came. And I took him out, I took him to the, to the little, we went out, I dressed him up. Um, in other words, for me to properly express myself, I started to break my spine.
which I don't mind, even that it's damaged. This was the police procedure for which police suggested me. I finally would end up throwing my own father through the window, literally. What kind of procedure was this stuff here? Well, I came to visit father, and I took father out for the fresh air, uh, pushed him on a, on a wheelchair, took him to the stream not too far from home for elderly people, And after we were done outside, I delivered him back. And guess what he did? He went on to repeat. So basically from the police station, I, I, I went to him also to give him a good news that I'm going to bring him home, that everything is going to be okay, that I'm working on it, because he plays a victim all the time, you know, that he is harmed, uh, that barely he's going to be waiting to come home, and so on and so forth. Um, well, I told you that in 2000, Milan Kuchan learned to get a special kind of food. Actually, this was in 1998, something like this. They learned about how in the West they're using some kind of uh, at, at the resorts, at the luxury resorts and so on, that they were using all kinds of uh, food, minerals, uh, um, vitamins, stuff, all kinds of stuff like this. Uh, intraveno, they would give people. Uh, hydrate them and so on, older people, to keep them in the best possible shape during vacation to the older people. Uh, and, well, my father became, over the course of the years, too lazy to drink water. He would not drink water. The only thing he would drink is coffee or, and, or juice. Tasty. And in the summertime, it gets hot. Um, for assignment he got for the police, he would simply go or rather to the hospital where they would hydrate one and uh, play with them with MK Ultra torture on me. And not only on me, but also on other people. I explained about that stuff already. So he figured out that from where you see here at, where he's going to get the food, replenish, refurbished, everything. Whatever he's going to need, he's going to be in a complete control of the crime against me. Just as everything is around me. And or if he will select, or in other words, if he will disagree also of his death. I told you how he threatened me with uh, he's going to pull the tube, feeding tube from his stomach and all kinds of issues like this. So what police was using him was to intimidate, to harass, to bully, to gaslighten and to also cause physical injuries, spine-breaking injuries because of the damage that was already done to my spine. No, but... So, this you try to lift him, according to MKL scenario, he does not want to he does not allow me to put him on the bed. He does not want to listen to it. You're going to see the videos, everything. Because today I'm going to post more than one video. Today I'm going to post more than only this video. So this is when I, when I go from police station, I go to visit father. So what he does is he starts to push. He grabs the chair. He's so um, trained during MK Ultra. They were doing exactly this kind of training and grabs the chair and start pulling the chair so it would be more difficult than the body weight already uh very difficult for my spine really my spine hurt but it's something else they wanted to hurt and according to psychiatrist cops it's how my spine would be broken uh, they suggested that i would made it with this 
Spust stov, spust stov. Kaj pa počneš? Če ga drži na ruka? Kaj pa delaš? Kaj pa delaš? Kaj delaš? Kaj delaš? He is doing the stuff of this to agitate, to harass, to bully, to cause psychological harm as much as possible because he knows about what he was doing with me during MK Ultra exactly at the bed what you see right there. They rehearsed this kind of stuff. My spine was broken already beginning 1996. This, the police started to cause damage to my spine. The first thing they, they, they caused, like a major catastrophe in me, was in 1996 spine. It was not in 2000. It was already before that. Immediately, as soon as I left the United States of America, they went right after my spine to break one. And this is the stuff they were using to build the case against me. Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch procalculated together with the police that it would not be the spine I would break, according to their words, with what you have seen right there, if that's not bad enough. I think my father have about 90 kilos. But once I would realize what the fuck he's doing, it's where I would go and put him on the bed and pull, and that's where you would... Uh, break what you would start to do with the anger and you would you would uh, not exhaust yourself but over uh, overwhelm your spine with pressure obviously with uh, with weight uh, because of the anger that's where you would go and destroy your spine this is basically according to their words the scenario I'm giving and uh, yeah, man, he is 92 years old uh, and he lived 52 years with crime against me, this psychopath that you see right there. In 2012, with the lies, eventually at age 41, he put me into psychiatric hospital with also other family members. Now he wants to finish the job for the Slovenian police together with the Slovenian police. And leave me something I would remember for the rest of my life, probably in the wheelchair. I ask him nicely, why do you hold the chair if, you know, I am holding you? Why are you, why are you pulling the chair? Why do you leave the chair also? So I tell him, if you if you will be doing this kind of stuff, I'm not going to be here anymore. So this is this is evil. This is this is diabolical shit. This is the proxy, the extension, the police extension, the psychiatrist that waits for me to pay him a visitation so he can cause more harm. And he was what I stated right now my entire life. I'm 52 years old. That's why I don't come anymore for a visit. The next day that I uh, return to visit my father, uh, he is again really humorous. I don't know, this is 33 minutes, and then this here is, uh, let's see this stuff here, what is it, 15 minutes, whatever. Uh, we agreed that the two of us are going to go out again, that we're going to go out on a fresh air. Dobar dan, Julia. So, um, sort of identical stuff repeats again. I start to dress one up, I start to fix one up, oh, getting myself ready, so I'm going to take him. I try to do my best, I try to accommodate him, uh, but he doesn't want to go.
But he doesn't want to cooperate, he doesn't want to do anything. So what I do is I stop and fuck it, I go home. Because... Uh, Jeans pants, which I took yesterday to the police station before I stopped by here. Uh, and then you have doing stuff like this, the claim that I would even end up lifting him and the wheelchair, which I don't know, to the certain degree, I gives a piece of a health advice that he retrieved my camera, uh, stopped by here, trying to portray this like an emergency. So, um, this is the stuff that, that we cannot go and do anymore because it's, a, it's, it's, you're going to see in the video what goes on. It goes everywhere like this. So, they cover 24-7 every element of life. Um, this is a video surveillance, 24-7, audio, video surveillance, police stalking. Uh, going f everywhere, everywhere, absolutely everywhere, covering a every aspect of his life and using what, what was MKUltra torture uh, to jam his life as much as you possibly can. And it's something that involves even, as I suggested, easily could be a physical confrontation that almost developed on, let's see this here. On May the 13th of 2024. That's why I thought that this, let me see if I can do this on this video. What is it now? 46 minutes, no, it's not gonna work. It's so much shit already that, that I did not even uh, go on for too much, but I got other stuff to do. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna burn the video that I demonstrated you. And below this video, below this video here, below this video that I demonstrated you, uh, this video is going to be below this video that uh, I have used to present you with what the video below is. So I'm going to uh, make this like part, uh, part, uh, part one, and this is going to be what you see here is going to be part number two. Uh, it's 30 minutes long. That's enough of it. Uh, and below this stuff, I'm going to put the videos about my father, about what went on on April the 25th, after I returned from the police station, and also April the 26th. Other than that, the shit goes on all the time. The crime goes on all the time. So exercise as well as mine inside of the house. And this is also the issue that psychiatrists, cops, and police also suggested me that don't even go out and exercise. Because you're always going to, whatever you're going to go, it's going to be a problem. Everywhere, whatever you're going to do. So, you know, what the fuck is this? This is a marathon of death, is what this is, yes? And the police uh, who was involved in this with the psychiatrist Peter Dutch presented this to the Chinese to the Indian delegation, to American delegation, to the German, to the French, to the British, to the United Nations, like a form of success, like something United Nations will be capable to use as, a, you know, like a blueprint. I don't agree with it. I don't agree with it because this shit can kill anybody. With just 1% of the stuff I have done it is deadly. I believe that United Nations representatives involved in this must be charged with a crime. I will dedicate my life. I might be dead. I might never survive this, but till the last breath to fight this stuff. United Nations is not going to use this example as an example of MKUltra because you have criminals who were involved in this since my early childhood. that are not going to be using extermination, a genocide procedure for which they knew against me, to show off with me, to showcase with me, to show off, to showcase the crime 
Thus, rate people accordingly with degree of abuse, degree of torture against one. I don't agree with it. Because the procedure like this itself, if I would take that kind of round, that kind of turn, would be, would, would, I would lose the meaning in this life. This is the scum that needs to be persecuted with the people involved in it. As much as anything can be persecuted. It's hard for me to talk about cancers and all this stuff when this is mama of all the diseases in the world. As well as mine, you should give the Nobel Prize, you should give whatever prize you want to give to the psychiatrist Peter Kopchen, to the police, to those that tortured, to those that killed. I don't deserve one, if you want to do it this way. I don't feel I am privileged enough to receive this, any kind of recognition from anybody. Then you got to make a competition of the genocide, of the extermination procedure, uh, games without borders, extermination procedure, and you're going to see which year who's going to win the contest. What I'm trying to say, you guys make no fucking sense at the United Nations, and nor you do at the European Court for Human Rights. You make no fucking sense whatsoever. Eventually, I'm going to have to probably hit all the politicians involved with this stuff from the first, every fucking last one of them. Because you are like, a, you are like, how can I say? You are a fucking disease. You are death. You're not only death, but you're death. You're death. You're cholera. You stink the whole world already with it.